Welcome back everyone. I have had several requests for people that want to see the workspace that my kids work in. Now I'm going to show you mine. It doesn't necessarily mean this is what you need to do. It's worked for me. I have a husband that is into carpentry and can make almost anything. This might not work for you. The kitchen table is what we used before we had these. We even, when I just had two children doing school, we set up this little H-shaped frame. It's set down on the desk and they did their their schoolwork so it was kind of dividers dollar tree has different dividers that you can buy to put your kid in whatever works for you and it may change as your kids get older it, it might vary so this is absolutely not necessarily the best way but this works great for us i have six kids in school right now and i have five desks that they sit at the younger one sits next to me i pull up a rocking chair because that's the furniture we have in our living room it's easier than the couch so I can move it around and I pull it up and I sand it a board that goes across the top of it so that I can sit there and score and check their work. And so that works for me. I'm not saying it's the catch-all, but I did want to show what I have that I work with. For our desk, we have the dividers. Very, very much like ACE desk. And it, you know what, they, they really actually help a lot. Just cut down on the distraction. There's a reason that a lot of companies use cubicles it's because the employees can focus on what they're doing and work and make those phone calls and not get disturbed saying it's just the same idea here with these desks so here's the american flag when they have a question i drilled a little hole up here you can get these flags at hobby lobby or mardell's or around the fourth of july so if you're interested in it i know target and walmart sell them around the fourth of july i usually try to kind of stock up um, also at fairs, a lot of times they're giving them away for free and my kids are always like, oh, I want one. Let me use that at my desk next year. These are for questions. If they have a question, they need to say a verse, read the first page, say vocab. In English, we say rules. Um, in word building, we spell all the words every checkup. So something like that would be what they would put their flag up for. If they need to go score, they put their flag up move it so you can see right here so that tells me they need to go score so i don't have to get up from my seat from what i'm doing and go ask them what's what they need i just say oh you may score or you may score it's an extra step they have to do to ask permission to score but if they're not on level that actually really encourages them to be on level this child is not we're not doing school right now we're on summer break but she's on E-level. Um, E-level means they can score without permission, they can go to the bathroom without permission, they, can, they have special privileges that they can get up, they get longer breaks, they get more breaks. It signifies that they have done a certain amount of paces the week before, taken a certain number of tests. Also, that they have said their scripture verse on a Monday or a Tuesday. Every semester we do two scripture verses a week. So this is separate from the Bible verses that they're learning in their paces. They have to do say those before every checkup. But we also have scripture verses that they have to memorize every week. And they have to say them. It's just part of our education. But if they say it on a Monday or Tuesday and kind of get it done, they get a chance to be on level. Here's where we, we put this, the scripture verse. So we got these cool ones. Um, if you order from ACE, you can get these these stickers with the eagle on it and the flag. In my school growing up, these are the ones we used if you set it on a Wednesday or Thursday, and these are the ones we used if you set it on a Monday or Tuesday. And it is really amazing how much that can motivate you to do it on Monday or Tuesday. It's just, I want the same sticker all along. So we we just had these, so what I was doing is is using these Bible stickers, which come in the pack of stickers, using these Bible stickers if they did it on Monday or Tuesday and just doing a check mark if they did it on a, Tuesday, a Wednesday or Thursday. That's how we do school, that's not how ACE does it. I think they have you memorize a clump of scriptures every three weeks and they provide you with those scriptures too, which will probably make life a little bit easier if that's what you choose to do. I just sewed these bags. I put little brackets, I bought them at Hobby Lobby or Michael's and put little brackets in it to hold it and just whipped them up. They're not complicated. Um, I think I had the material on hand, but it's just kind of, this is kind of like a duck material. And then this part is a little bit lighter. I think I ran out of the duck material, but it just sewed really 
easily. They've lasted for many, many years. I probably need to redo some of them, but so far it's working. So inside here we have their paces. Math is a book and it fits in there too, amazingly enough, because I didn't try that when I made them. But we have English, social studies, science, and word building, and they all fit in there really nice and perfectly. I put little simple hooks in here to hold the bags. The paces go in there. We also have a Bible reading chart. The kids have been working on these for a couple of years. They work on them during the school years and they just read the books of the Bible and fill in the bubbles, so chapter one, chapter two. As they go along, I got these protected covers for them because they were literally wearing off from going in and out of their, their folders. So now they, it kind of protects them and I don't feel like I have to replace them every couple of years. I will put a link to that down below if you guys want that Bible chart. It's just I give them 15 minutes and they read in the morning and they get really excited when they finish books of the Bible. It's really exciting. Also in here, I have a couple folders. Um, the folders, she keeps her social studies map studies that are in the center of social studies. I think that starts in fifth or sixth grade. Um, and then I have a math folder that she can keep her math sheets in. So that's, that's what we have in here. It's just a little bag. I think you could buy a bag from the store that you could just cut holes in and hang up here or whatever you feel like doing. For us, it hangs on the divider. They have a calendar because somebody gave them their little calendars and they like to do that if they need a date. This um, divider comes off and the whole desk folds up into the wall. So I'll show a picture of that. It's really, really handy because when school is over, we can shut down school. So that, as, as crazy as it sounds, that really provides an opportunity for there to be school and homework. One thing the ACE is really great about is providing a work environment so that you get school done during school. And it's very possible, it's not impossible to get it done. Even on your hardest days, you can pretty much always power through and get it done in the time that, it's, that they provide. So at 3.15 when school's over, we close up the desk and if you have homework, we close up the desk and then they do their chores and then if you have homework, they don't have to do it at their desk, they can do it anywhere. So it's really, really, works really, really well for us. Let me show you a little bit more at the desk. This right here, we have the star chart. This is the star chart for next year, so I haven't put the name on it and it's empty. Um, at the end of next year, it will look like this one that I showed you with all the stars on it. It will have 12 stars in every subject. I use, from Walmart, I get big stars for 100% and then ACE provides the small stars for anything less than 100%. So it could be 99 and a half, it could be 90%, anything of that range gets a small star. So the big stars they really have to work for. The level, I already explained that to you and I'll explain more about that in another video. Goal cards. Also very important, we use those all the time. They turn them in every two weeks. Then I have a little can for them to keep their pencils in. She has a pencil sharpener and some erasers in a little box that I put in here. Let me show you. I did a video explaining this. This is how I can tell just at a glance what subjects they're done with. So if it's morning break, they have to have two subjects done by morning break. So this just lets me know, okay, she's done with all of her subjects. Or I can do, you know, in the morning, it might just be English and math that she's finished. So I can know, okay, well this, this she has English done and math done, that's her two easiest subjects, so the afternoon's gonna be a little bit hard. So, but as they get it done, it's kinda like playing Battleship. You just keep putting it up there. We have social studies, word building, science, and then sometimes they have literature or Bible. So it's just, it's not necessary at all. It just lets me see from across the room how many subjects they have done, how close they are without having to look at their goal card. Here's another level. She's on A level. Um, a level is the lowest level you can get except for not having anything. It doesn't give you a lot of privileges. It gives you a little bit of time on break. Also wanted to share these backgrounds. Um, I covered up ceiling tiles. So those foamy ceiling tiles that are at your dentist or in main buildings, they, those I cut to fit in here. And then every year we change the background. So they get to choose a new background. We go to the store and they pick out what material they want and they get to choose what it is. So each of them have a different background. It reflect like last year, this child had a goose and a duck 
flying across his background, which I was worried would distract him. He said it distracted a little bit, so he wanted to go with more of a plain color this year. I haven't replaced them for this next year because I try to do it a little bit closer to the school year so that we open up the desk and it's all new and exciting. That's a really fun thing that we do. So these are our desks. They do fold up. There's a piano hinge right here that folds up, which a piano hinge is basically just a really, really large hinge. And then we have ropes. Some of them are chains. We tried something different with these. I don't know if it works better, but it was a little bit cheaper than buying the chains and I was shopping, so I got the cheaper one. But it's just like a metal rope, basically. And so when the desks fold up, this just collapses and it makes it really easy to fold up. So that's all I have for you now. Let me fold up the desk and show you what they're like.